The crew of USS Benfold is pretty excited about their new bridge. You may have heard about some cool new systems coming to the fleet, but as Ensign Cobb will tell you, his new shipboard navigation system and simulator are nothing short of awesome. Really nothing has ever prepared me for using this system. Uh, not that it's technical or anything, but I never had something that is so beneficial in helping us navigate. USS Benfold is one of a few ships featuring a special upgrade to their navigation system, one that's a preview of an impressive future capability for all vessels. The Navy's goal of going paperless has been realized on many ships with the Electronic Voyage Management System, and Benfold has the very latest version of the software. Benfold's navigator gave us the highlights of the vessel's new VMS. The computer takes into account things like our set and drift, takes into account our speed, and our rate of turn and type of rudder angle we're going to use and gives us a great prediction of where we're going to turn and how we can actually maintain that track. So it's not really making it like we're thinking any less, it's just taking a lot of the worry out of it and it's giving us a real-time quicker picture of exactly where we are in the world. Lieutenant Wise illustrated the impressive accuracy of the system. We can actually shoot our visual aids off of here, our radar aids, and uh, we can actually query the chart to actually ask, hey, what is that item on the chart that we see in there? Um, if there's a buoy and we want to see exactly what the buoy is, it'll tell us which one it is. It tells us everything like lighthouse features or any type of landmarks, and the features like what's the uh, rate of uh, the flashing bulb on that lighthouse, or what kind of whistle signal can I expect from there? In addition to the latest version of the VMS, Benfold has an incredible new and highly realistic shipboard navigation training simulator, which crew members were eager to show off. The integrated bridge navigation system allows crew to navigate ports around the world in any type of weather or sea state, as well as perform difficult maneuvers such as unreps and man overboard drills. Ship drivers can practice over and over until they and leaders are confident the crew is prepared for the real thing. Benfold's XO elaborated. Uh, this is the, um, the latest and greatest as far as navigation goes. So we can integrate our electronic navigation systems with our ship control system. And the beauty of it is that we can also tie it to some simulators that allow us to give some training to the ensigns and, well, to anybody, even uh, us that have been around for a while, um, who uh, just don't have the time to go out and take the ship uh, underway whenever we, we want to necessarily to get some of that good hands-on training on you know, bringing the ship next to the pier, uh, uh, piloting the ship in restricted waters. Um, and, and now that we have the simulator, it gives us a capacity to keep our, our proficiency at a much higher state. One of the huge benefits of having the system right on the bridge is that no longer do crew have to wait for time in a shore-based simulator. They can practice any time, day or night. We got a demonstration of the simulator in action. He's navigating the ship all by himself um, on the simulator. We have the the uh, charts here on the right and he can just take a quick glance. It's not going to be precision navigation if he's by himself per se, but the, uh, the system gives him where the ship is tracking. It gives him vector of the pre predicted uh, location where the ship is going to be a few minutes down the road. And uh, over here on the left, he has uh, the ability to control the engines. All he did was a uh, little bit of touchscreen action there and uh, accepted the order, accelerated the ship. He's uh, controlling the, uh, the helm all by himself. Ensign Coleman gave us a tour of the simulator's touchscreen interface. Somebody's capable of just going up here and doing it themselves, controlling the speed over here for the Lee Helm. It'll show you where your control's at, what your revolutions per minute are at, what your speed is. He explained why the simulator is so valuable from an Ensign's perspective. The creators of this, of, of this experience have done such a great job of recreating the environment that you're conning in that when you actually are getting underway from Port San Diego, getting underway from Hawaii, getting underway from Norfolk, all the same key markers are there. The buoys are in the same spots, all the navigational aids are in the same spots, so you're more familiar with it and it feels like a safer environment because you're not nervous of being surprised by something new. Incredibly, the sometimes complex scenarios crew members practice on are created on a laptop. I have a lot of pre-programmed scenarios to run all the fleet concentration areas and a lot of the major ports that we hit. If we're entering port, I'll have them start outside the port and have them do the approach and I'll also add some fishing contacts or other vessels that we expect to see there. Commander LeBron said the value the new VMS and simulator bring to Benfold is immeasurable. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that this is making us better mariners. Uh, just by virtue of the fact that we can practice and practice and practice. The benefits that we get from the system is, is it's hard to quantify.